Uh, the shares of Nike are gaining in trade. Manglam, there was a presentation as well by the company. What's new? Well, it's the annual analyst day of the company, which uh, started today at 9 a.m. here in Mumbai itself. A uh, bunch of things that stood out from their presentation, and it's the themes that the company is focusing going forward. Let's talk about the key takeaways from there. Stock at the high point of trade. The first one is diversification away from being just a beauty and personal care company. In FY19, beauty and personal care accounted for nearly 98.3% of their revenues. Now it's down to 68%, and as a result of which their total addressable market, which was close to around $100 billion as of FY23, will now uh, increase to over $180 billion by 2027. So those are a bunch of markets that they are uh, you know, looking at as well. So diversification comes about as one of the key things. The second theme is their own brand. So they entered the women's innerwear brand with Nike two years ago, and that's crossed 85 crore of sales, and that's also turned EBITDA positive too. They are expanding the reach of that brand in general trade from 1,000 stores that they've reached in FY23 to about 2,000 stores in FY24. So that will, you know, spike, uh, grow the revenues of that business too. K, which is the other beauty brand of the company, has about 128 crores of sales in FY23. They've reached about 300 stores, so they're increasing their presence from their own brands as well. The third vertical that the company spoke about was the EB2B vertical, which basically was started just a couple of quarters ago. It has an addressable market of $1 to $2 billion and 3 to 5% EBITDA margin potential at scale. So those are some things that can drive the growth forward as well. As far as fashion is concerned, premiumization is the way to go. Three and a half times is what the premium uh, fashion market is likely to be by as, uh, as of 2030 as compared to what it is now. And for beauty and personal care, they said that while retail is growing uh, in, in terms of online sales, Omni Channel is the way to retail beauty in India. So they will be focusing on a lot more offline stores as well, but profitably. Their target is that all offline stores should be profitable within one year of launch, EBITDA profitable. So what does this mean for their overall target? One, growth ahead of the market is what they're targeting. Secondly, better leverage on their operating costs, which means margin expansion. And thirdly, they will continue to invest in brand building and capabilities building as well. So overall, looking to uh, you know, fire on all cylinders. Okay, looking to fire on all cylinders.